Nipples are sensitive to touch and also sensitive to irritation. So the same way they are sensitive to irritation is the same way they are sensitive to stimulation. But sometimes when they hurt, it gets so uncomfortable and you just can't even wear a bra. But most of the time when it hurts this way, it's sometimes nothing serious. But sometimes it can also be serious and you really need to take care of it, you know. You need to go medical. And that is why I decided to talk about six reasons why that nipple might be hurting. And the possible solution maybe you're welcome to visit me at 9 TV this is like show with Ayo Miko you always have to show on your play guys you know what I do on this show and make sure you leave a whole lifestyle so you should subscribe to this channel follow every our social media platform because that is how you can be a part of the family <laughs>said there are reasons and I'm giving out six of the reasons the first of it is can be just simple allergy you know there are some times that the chemical you know so your nipple the way it is set sensitive it tends to pick up chemical substances chemical reactions like for example let's say your fabric detergent and sometimes it can just be your cream your soaps your lotion and your nipple is reacting to all of this it can cause simple allergy it can cause some soreness and earth in the nipple and this is just simple all you need to do is just that make sure that you identify what is the cause so if you just change your soap of recent or you change your lotion you can just phantom that okay maybe this is the reason my nipple gives me this earth and you should just walk towards it it's just very simple it's just a simple energy it doesn't need any real any medication so to say and the next thing might be that it might not be an allergy it can be mastitis you know mastitis often happen to breastfeeding mother you know lactating mothers and this is because sometimes when the milk stays too long in the bosom it tends to cause some infection so too much of the when the milk stays for a very long time without being devoured by <laughs> the what i said right without being enjoyed by the baby it tends to cause some certain infection so mastitis is a very serious condition and it needs urgent medical attention and you need to visit a medical practitioner for that so if you're feeling soreness and hurt in your breast and your nipple you should visit a medical practitioner if it is mastitis okay and the next thing is that it might not be mastitis it might not be an allergy it can just be your menstruation you know during your menstruation your hormone can decide to go ay and you start feeling some kind of soreness a kind of hurt on your nipple and you feel like what is wrong with me calm down don't fret and one thing one good thing about this is that it's just a short life symptoms within some days it is, it is gone and it doesn't even need any treatment you just need to chill relax and be fine and you're good another thing that can cause this hurt in your in your nipple can be vigorous exercise you know when you're exercising it's not the exercise now you know exercise is a very good thing for our body system our overall body system but when you're doing this make sure that you're selecting the right bra you know you're going through a vigorous exercise you need to make sure that the bra you're making use of is the right one for your nipple it's not the one that has a very bad fabric that can at the end of the day cause you some soreness on your nipple another reason for your nipple soreness or earth can be yeast infection this got you by surprise right exactly you know the same way this is infection penetrates your private part it can also happen on your nipple you know your nipple is quite sensitive and this often happens to certain people that are always on grass that have non uh, non breathable not breathable fabric you know the the whole place is just choked up every time so that is pleases that the, the, that's the kind of place that the yeast grows you know and another thing that can cause it is um, a lactating mother when they can they are actually open to some kind of risk of thrush from their babies and this is very simple you can always treat it with our over-the-counter drugs or so make sure that you're not doing any self prescription go to someone that knows about medical um, all and all they prescribe to you and you use the drug and you're all fine the last one of the least reason why you might be having your nipple soreness here and here is a good one for you it's pregnancy congratulations my love you know you might actually be a mom very soon you know it's a very good news you know sometimes it's not every time that some certain people will start having all this um, morning sickness before morning sickness sometimes it's your nipple that will show you that baby yo 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 <laughs> 
So you should just go and get some pampers, you know, get dapper and set the house. The whole thing is about to be good. And this can only be if you've been engaging in some, some certain exercise. You know I know. Uh, hey, and you are not on any birth control pill. Mama me, go for pregnancy test and prepare for Antinanta. <laughs> Thank you for joining Ayomiko today on the show. This is Lexa Show with Ayomiko on this platform with Omiyad Online TV. This is where you can get the best, you know. Don't touch that tap. <laughs>